Tip and Tucker live outside Crescent Field along Yeah, and no matter what age, there's something for everyone to enjoy leading up to and during uh, the big show, even afterwards, Tiffany. Our Cole Molesky got a chance to have a lot of fun. He's taking it all in with families in the University Circle and a party that turned up the entire way. Well, the total on the Oval was a lot of fun. Everything is just about packed up here. A lot of people gone, but we're still at the museum because guess what? Astronomers are still at the museum as well. I'm here with Monica Marshall. You were very excited for the total. I'm still so excited. Like, you still have that energy. Oh boy, yes, I'm still excited. First of all, tell me about what it was like to view that in person. Oh, it was actually, it exceeded my expectations. Um, I'm an astronomer, so I've been training to talk about the eclipse for months now, actually years, ever since we saw the partial eclipse in 2017. And I actually, I thought I was going to be one of those calm people that get stuck in awe. I was very much one of those people that kept talking the whole time, and I didn't even know what to say. It was just so beautiful, and I didn't want it to end. But once it did end, I was so grateful that I was a part of this experience, and especially in my home, where I, I take uh, this place as a stomping ground. To see it in a different light is so amazing, and I am still freaking out about it. It was so cool. <laughs> and not only did you enjoy the eclipse yourself, but you were hard at work during it, looking for yeah. different things. Talk to me about viewing the eclipse through an astronomer's eyes. Yeah, so we actually had some sophisticated telescopes out for a total on the oval where we were able to see the sun in a couple of different wavelengths of light. And uh, what we were doing out with the crowd, we were showing them different things to look out for. I actually was manning a telescope that was able to see the chromosphere, the lower layer of the sun's atmosphere. And at that part of the sun, you actually can see red glowing flames coming off the side of the sun. Mm. We call those prominences. I was telling people to really check out where the prominences are because during totality you actually can see those red glowing flames come from behind the moon and lo and behold right as totality got there at the end you saw a big red flame towards the bottom of totality uh, where the moon was eclipsing the sun and that was one of those red glowing flames so I hope that I was able to help people understand where to look for these extra little uh, tidbits of, of joy and uh, awe moment uh, during totality and I did I saw tons of prominences the corona was beautiful it was very bright it was you could see spikes it was awesome I hopefully everyone else uh, enjoyed it and saw some beautiful things too that's awesome that's fantastic some wonderful stuff and wonderful experiences during that total solar eclipse in Cleveland Colt Molesky 19 news